Hello guys, Jeffrey speaking here. So today I would like to make a video on how to modify your backlit keyboard of Asus G73, G53 and also G51. Before I started this tutorial, I would like to give uh, all the credits to Kenley of Gentech PC because he has shown us some picture tutorial at notbookreview.com. So uh, before I started this tutorial, on how to modify, show you guys the materials and also the tools needed uh, along this process. So first of all, you will need a color film. So uh, I got mine from the eBay, and it's really cheap. It's only cost me around uh, one euros. So you can buy it at, at your local stores actually. Besides that, you also needed a Philip screwdriver. So as you can see. I don't have one because I'm still a student and I just use my Victorinox Swiss Army knife. So basically that's all for the materials and tools needed uh, for this tutorial and I'll show it to you guys on the next scene. So guys as you can see in front of you now is the Asus G73 keyboard. So there are 5 push tabs that you have to know before you operate and remove the keyboard. The first one is located above the escape key, the second one is above the F5, the third one is above the F9, the fourth one is above the print screen, and last but not least is located at the end button. So next I'll like to see in details on how to do it. The first push tab that I would like to show to you guys is located above the escape key. So you have to prepare your Philip headed screwdriver and push the push tabs. So when you push it, it will automatically pop up the keyboard. So you have to repeat this step for the following four push tabs. After removing the keyboard, um, you have to be careful because under the keyboard it has a backlight cable as well as a ribbon cable. So uh, please bear with me with this because this is my first time on removing this kind of cable. So if I'm not mistaken, you just have to push this uh, slowly and it will pop up. But I don't know whether how to do it. I will see. Do this. Hmm. Yeah, that's all. So after that, I repeat the same step on the second one. Let me remove this first. I'm sorry because I'm really not. Uh, I don't have any experience on doing this. So yeah, I'm successfully removed. The third step after removing the uh, backlight cable as well as the ribbon cable is removing another two screws from the keyboard. So as you can see here, here is the aluminum foil and uh, below that is the keyboard itself. So uh, we have to put the colored film between these two. So we have to uh, remove the two screws before we can access inside. So the screws are located at here, one here and another, another one is here. So uh, uh, let me proceed, it's really easy, use the screwdriver and remove it. I'm sorry, please bear with me again. It's kind of awkward to do this for the first time because I never have this uh, experience before. So it's not that difficult as long as you have the um, right tool. So it's not that difficult. So let me try to unscrew this. Yeah, so I've done removing these two screws yeah, they are extremely small so please be careful on it 
So after removing the screw, uh, now you can uh, actually remove the aluminum foil. So after that, you have to peel off the aluminum foil and the keyboard in order to put the color film inside this. So uh, let me proceed with the cutting of the color film and I put into it and I'll show it to you guys. So as you, as you can see in front of you now, I have cut the color film and fix it, with, uh, fix it between the aluminum foil and also the keyboard. So um, you can customize it according to your preference. For example, if you want some mix and match, for example, red and blue, uh, it all depends on you. But for me, I, I love the blue color. So I just put the blue color filmed on my keyboard. So uh, the next thing I would like to show you guys is how to fix. So the next step would be put back the screw. But please remember um, to punch a hole for your screw. If not, you will not able to uh, put your screw back to the keyboard. So after that, you just have to put back the cable to its original position. And I would like to show to you guys the result of it. Okay guys, this is the end result of the modification that I have done just now. And I'm really satisfied with this modification and this is actually my first time doing such modification on notebooks. Uh, this tutorial will show you guys on how easy this modification can be done but please do it at your own risk. So uh, please thumbs up if you like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos to come. And ciao!